Here he comes. He just went the other way. He just went down the side hallway. Might have been on the phone, I think. Yeah, it looked like he was on the phone and wandered down. He went down the side hallway. Okay. Here he comes. He's coming now. Don't coming back, coming back, coming back. Hold on, he's coming out. He's coming out. District five, district five. We got one at gunpoint. We have one at gunpoint. Doctor James Kaufman. Five eleven. I have one at gunpoint. Doctor James Kaufman. He has a weapon. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. Hey. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. Sir. Drop the gun. Just drop. Drop the gun. Let's talk. Sir. Just drop the gun. We have a search warrant. We have a search warrant. You're not under arrest. Listen. Four search warrants for you. Your arrest. office oh. and your house. Your car oh. and your person. Shit. I don't believe it. Yes, we do. Where, where no, I'm not going to jail for this. Sir, we oh, just have no. search warrants. That's it. Put the weapon down. No. Put Drop the weapon. The weapon. No. Listen, let's talk. Listen, let's talk. Sir. Jim. Watch this window. Watch this window. Watch this window. District 5, we have a barricaded subject inside. He's got a handgun. Get down, get in the corner. He's going to the back room. We're at uh, Dr. James Kaufman's office. We have the uh, FBI, A Cover Township <coughs> units with us. Prosecutor's office. We're 10 4 right now. 10 4. I got you back. Stand, stand behind me. I got a vest. Why, why don't you get on this side of him? He doesn't have a vest on. He said he was going to the back to the back of the office. So just be careful. Ten four. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hold on. Hold on. Looks like it's an MMP shield or something. He's coming out the front. He's coming out the front. Put the gun down. Listen, Jim. just drop the weapon. Listen, let's talk. All it is is a search warrant. It's a search warrant. It's a search warrant. Drop the gun. No, 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 no. No. He came out. He's back inside now. No, you're not fucking doing that. Hold on. You're not doing that. It's not working. Yeah, just you two, you guys stay back. You guys on point three. Do you have your nine? Reach in the car and grab my nine. Give one seventy three a ten nine. Just watch that window. You got him on the phone or not? No, I got his number, bro. Huh?
He's exiting the front door now. Sir, just, right five, just, just an FYI. The There's a search warrant right here, right by the bush. Right by the right by the bush. It's a search warrant. It's a search warrant. Jim, Jim, I'm with the FBI. This is just a search warrant for medical stuff. Just chill out. You're not, this not isn't, getting arrested. Dale. You're not getting arrested. This is just a search Listen. warrant. We don't have a guy. We don't have a search warrant. Yeah. We have, we're going to be searching a medical office. Look at the search warrant. Put the weapon down records. and come back out. Hey, uh, Jimmy. Get them to another, get another car up here. Hey! Hey! Guys, hey! 507, you on the air? Yeah, it's fine. Doors! Bring your car up here by the Acorn Township here. SUV. Give them guys some more cover. Drive your car up here! No, your car! He's getting the truck. Give me a big car! I got, I got Linwood bringing over the SUV also. If you're in this area, if not, time for. I'll take the hey, hey, 507. Yeah. Come up past the SUV. Come up by me. Come over by me. By the by the other side of the parking lot. I need you to come up on top of the grass and give the guys in the rear of the building some cover. They're staying up against the wall. Just come right around this side. Hey, you're good. Watch these left side windows. Okay. Sorry, you got that wind up? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Make sure you're behind cover all the time. He does a lot of shooting, a lot of target practice. Oh, Alright, fuck it. I'm not gonna deal with it. I gotta show it. Yeah, come back over. Stay behind cover, it's not worth <clears throat> Dan, you wanna get those you wanna get those front. windows? Yeah. If you get the side windows, we'll take this front door. Yeah. Just stay down top of guys. Yeah. Mine? You guys, you want more rifles here just in case? Or? Yeah, get, get us yeah, two more rifles. Many rifles. One on that side for sure. Yeah. District 5, who's on the air right now for Linwood Patrol? Directions, 508, 503. 508, 503. I need uh, some rifles over here. You can get them over here ASAP. We're at uh, Dr. James Kaufman's office. It's on uh, Ocean Heights. 10-4. Going to be 4034 Ocean Heights. 403 Ocean Heights, you guys copy. Yeah. District 5, just an FYI, he had the uh, handgun to his chest. Yeah, kind of I'm going to try to call him, guys. Hey, Kev! Lieutenant! I'm trying to call him! Okay. No. 3354549. If anything does happen, I got a quick clock pack and everything on me. Okay. 
Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there's a guy, there's guys in the corner behind us. Yes, they have a vehicle covering. It's, uh, it's no more than a couple of us. I got more assault rifles coming too. Five oh eight, how you guys looking? Time for. When you come in, you'll see the uh, two A Cover Township SUVs go around them, and I need you to come to the back, um, to the side of the parking lot, and uh, bring them over here. And he has like a little lot 380 on it. That's a nine. Or nine. We all did. Came out with a nine. Yeah. Yeah, I already did the Linwood. Yeah, District 5. The HT knows that he's got a barricaded subject. He RTs it. Tan scrubs. Yeah, tan, he's got tan scrubs. He had it. He had the handgun right to his chest. I have 11. You're saying you're in the back? Black handgun. Guys, yeah, that's a firm if you come in. Guys, we're going to back out and get around here. We'll leave him there. SWAT's going to take over. Are they here? Chief, you could stand by right there. We're going to try to back off of this corner. You got it. Are they going to try to come out? I think they're going to hang tight until SWAT comes in. If anything does happen, I have a uh, quick clot and everything on my pack right here in the event something happens. Yeah. At least we know you. I guess he was going to get the gun when he went down the hallway. As soon as he, now he had it hidden in the pocket, I think, and he pulled it out of his pocket. Although we couldn't exactly see because of the window glare, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. As, as far as we... No. Nah. Correct. 
he did come out a second time. I don't know if you know, but he did come out and he, uh, he grabbed the search warrant papers. If you want, give them guys some extra cover up front by the uh, EHT SUVs and hang tight with them right there, right in front, yep. Yeah, you, you want... No. No second floor. You got somebody over there on that corner? Yeah. Yeah, we got a couple guys back there still. Yeah. They're behind a car. John, do you have a rifle? I don't think so. 507, do you have a rifle over there? No. Negative. Negative. They don't. He said he was going to the back, that's all we know. Five or three, five. Five or three, guys. Can you uh, just call up District 6 and ask them to uh, just be available if we have any calls in town? Advising the situation we have out here. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I got I got Chet Brown and uh, Martin over there too. They just brought rifles. They're on the other side of the EHT. It was locked. Yeah, he came and unlocked it and then walked back in. That's when he turned around with the handgun. Yeah, the, the right door is unlocked. The right door is unlocked and then the left door is unlocked. So the, the, the exterior right, interior left. Yeah. Yeah. Five 
This is District Six was advised. Is that being anything? Just let them know. What, and try to pull it back here? They wouldn't have anything to get behind besides bushes. What's that? I can't hear what he say. This one? There's like six windows right here. There's like six windows right here. That's the only reason we have this here. Because if we if we move the car, you guys are going to be wide open. Okay. Okay. Yes. Actually. Yeah, it's not a good idea if, even to get in the driver's seat. So you got, you're aware when we move this, you guys have no cover, right? Yeah. You have no cover once I move this. You're an open line to the windows. So if he shoots out that window. There's like six no windows cover. going down, just so you guys know. You have no hey, cover. If by, anything, let's, let's go to command. If anything, just back your cars up. So we have that's what I'll do, but I'm just telling you. Yeah. If he shoots out those windows, you guys I, have I no cover. That. Are you guys comfortable leaving there and leaving the car there? Of course, if it makes you guys safer. Yeah, whatever, you, yeah. We can move. You want to put want to put the car right there? Yeah, do you want us to try to back the car right here? Yep. Chief, you want to move up here? You got the rifle. Go ahead. Okay. You guys want to come up here and try to take a little cover here? Yeah, well, there's like six on this side. Okay, yeah. Hey, Chief, you want Bill? Yeah, you want to go on this side? You got a rifle.
Myers, you on board for that? You hear that? Here. Uh. Yeah, it's champion. I'm right. I'm just over your head. Okay. Just just stay behind me. Uh, well, I'm just of, I'm covering the uh, I'm covering that top window just in case. I got it. If you got pop out around me, pop out around me. Don't shoot over me. You guys, can you guys hear what's going on? They're saying he might come out and surrender. Okay. Let, let, let he might. Let's have my guy, Guys, he might come out and surrender. He might be coming out to surrender, but he had he had the handgun right to his chest. Yeah, champion's got it. Yep. Yeah, I got you. Absolutely. We'll address it. But try and stay behind me. Yeah. Now we're going to be the arrest team. Who said that? Right. Just take cover. Just cover. Right. We're going to be the arrest team over here if it comes in. Is that Bearcat, guys? Yeah. 10-4. Okay. Right. We're just going to stay still if you come down. Really know. <laughs> Five or seven, you copy that on the rear? Yeah, it's really copy. Just stay put until uh, he comes out and they wrestle. Just let me know if you if he uh, comes out that front. Yeah, you said it's there. I see a door that says use other doors, so I'm guessing it's this left one over here, you said? There's a left door? Yeah, yeah, there's a left right in between that uh, okay. split. Yeah, I, got, I can see the, as far as I much I can see is a doorknob. Okay. And obviously the glass to the right. There's a, that right there is followed, it's, there's a hallway that goes straight down all the way to the back. Oh, so if so. I were to go in that room, 
if you walk in that left door, yeah. th there's a hallway that goes all the way to the back. The lights weren't on in the back, so it was dark back there. Okay. Um, but it was, there was probably maybe two or three lights on up front here. Just a high risk car stop. He's going to open his shirt, spin him around, and dunk him. Yeah. Right, we're going to grab him. If shit goes bad, be aware of a crossfire. You guys got this way. All right. Be aware of that crossfire right there. He All gets right. to a certain yep. point, we got can't it. shoot. So Say it again. I said he gets to a certain point back. We're not shooting, guys. Right, yep. right. When he comes back to the Bearcat, you guys are out. Then these guys got him, all right? Yeah, he breaks those white lines of the parking lot. We're not, we're not shooting. Yep. Just watch that top yeah, window. Down there, street out there. It sounds like they're going to high risk them all the way back to the bear cat. Dude, we still got to do 30,000 files after this. This is fucking boring. <laughs> Are you guys canned up? Yeah, I do. Are you on? Yeah. Yeah, I have to be. Per. FBI. Watch that door for a second. Back in Camden.
see a light on in the ceiling in that, that front door to the left. Yeah, like I said, there's like maybe two lights on inside. It's like, you know, if you have the lights off in a business and there's like usually one or two on, yeah. that's all That's all it is that's on, on in there. The, the whole back of the building was dark when he came out. There's like, there's like six rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Chief, you do know that there's a window. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm just making sure that. Just watch that window. Just let me know if you see something. Yeah. Who's covering that now? What's that? Phil, you, Phil you, you have second floor, right? No, I do. I, got, I can see both. I'm trying to concentrate on the first. Yeah, I got, I got the top. Yeah, just be careful of the other windows too. Not, we're not sure if he has access to the other parts of the building. Alright, we got movement. Alright, he's coming. Dr. Hoffman, please step out to the curb. Step to the curb. Keep your hands as high as you can. Alright, step to the curb. Now, slowly, reach down and pull your shirt up. Spin around, please. Alright, face your door. Face your door. Hands up as high as you can. The only way we can guarantee your safety is just keep cooperating, please. Walk backwards. Keep walking backwards. Keep walking backwards, please. Watch that curb. Just watch the building to make sure there's no one else still inside. District 5, we got one in custody. Please see one in custody, 725. You want me? I think to, they're gonna clear the buildings. Well, do you, do you want one of us with the body cams yes, on him? That would be great if you guys could uh, just stay with him and see what he says. And we'll have him okay. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna come back over there to be with him.
Or be the least intrusive, intrusive as possible. You have any questions for me? No, I just I didn't appreciate being handcuffed. That's all. I, I mean, told I'm, them I'm you harmless. don't want to get handcuffed. You have shoulder issues. Right. Um, you have no weapons on you. Where's the weapon in the residence? I told him. Yeah, I already okay. told the SWAT guy. And is there anyone else in there? No. Okay. Only one weapon in there? Yeah. Okay. This is a legal weapon. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, no problem. Good. I don't worry about that. I just wanted to make sure that uh, it ends peacefully today. But thank you for answering my calls. Thank you for talking. Yeah. Now what happened? Um, <clears throat> we're going to have an ambulance come and just check you out, make sure you're okay. It's just, I'm okay. This is just procedure. I know you're a doctor, but we have certain things we have to follow. Okay. Okay? So just go along with it. Let them check you out. We'll move on to the next step. They're going to, the SWAT guys are going to clear Lark. the environment there. Any of your Lark. keys to your car, your house, and stuff like that. Do you have that on you? It's in the office. It's in the office. Okay. And is there any locked compartments that are in the office? Any safes or anything like that? We yeah. have some okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for being cooperative. I'm going to turn you over to uh, Dr. Kloppen. Um, reference to your residence. Um, is there a combination or whatnot for the alarm, or is there alarm set? The alarm set. It is? Okay. Are you willing to provide that combination for us so we can turn it off? When you get a chance, just come around when it's feasible and safe. Uh, with the camera. One, three, five, three, five, I'm on them now, but just in case. Eight, one, three, five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just my hand. To, to the house or your office for any reason, if we don't have to. So no. Is there any uh, lock seats or anything that needs yeah, special combination? Yeah, to the safe uh, in the basement, but they have searched everything before. Okay. The keys for the safe. It's in the gun room. The gun room, not gun room anymore. It's a mess. Okay. I apologize. Uh, it's in the basement. It's a locked door. The keys for the door are on my desk in my office. It's complicated. Okay. There's no, no, a no problem, set sir. Of keys on top of my desk. Keys for door in office. Office on top of my desk. In a messy desk. So I apologize. And you go downstairs, and all the way on the other side, there's two doors. One is a slotted door, you know, like a... Pocket door? No, no, um, slats. Okay, Bennett, I got you. Bennett. That Uber door, that key will open that door. When you go in there, in the mess, I'm really, again, I apologize. Um, on the right side, there's a Lyman lead block, and okay. under the Lyman lead block are two keys for the safe, and they'll open the safe. All right, so the keys for the louver door are in your office on yeah. top of the desk, right. and then go into that door in the basement, right. and on top of the Lyman lead block right. are the keys for the safe. Yeah, but you won't be able to get into the house unless you go through the garage, oh, and the phone number is on my, the, the number's on my phone, and I don't have my phone, which is in the office. Okay. Are the keys for the house on uh, the key ring in your office? No. Okay. No, I, have to, I go through the garage. <laughs> All right, well, we have a search warrant for your phone, so you're not going to be able to access it again, that again right now. Will I get it um, back? I have all my information on it. Yes, sir, you will. Um, I mean, like, within a, a reasonable period of time? Is there another way for us to get into the house without damaging the front door? Or? Well, that's why I said that. It goes to the garage, but on the phone, it has the numbers for the garage the door open. Right, okay. But I don't have them on top of it. Okay. So is, you, there, is there a passcode to get into your phone? Um, G L A. And D S. D is in dog. So D is in dog. Six nine. Okay. G L A N D S six, six nine. nine. And then you have to go to contacts. Okay. And then under contacts, it should be Linwood House or House or something. And then you'll see a four-digit code either for the right pad or the left pad. But I really don't remember. I mean, if you had the phone here, I'd you know I'd do it for you. Can I interrupt you real quick, Doc? How do you get into the attic? What is there access to the attic upstairs? Here? Yeah. I have no idea. You have no idea? Okay. All right, so just confirm that the passcode to get into the phone is G-L-A-N-D-S-6-9. Right. Contacts, Linwood House, and there's a four-digit code for the garage, either right. left or right. right. Okay. But again, if you bring the phone out, you can do it right here. Okay. But I really mean, all my contacts and everything is on that phone. My whole life is on that phone. All right. Whatever. The keys for your vehicle, That's, they're in the office? They're in the office. Whereabouts? Uh, right on the, the round desk behind my desk. <clears throat> Do I get my car back at all, either? Yes, sir. I mean, no, I mean like today? We'll see how it goes, sir. You know, I have to kill him. 
Hey, Kevin, can I just ask a question real quick? Yep. Hey, Dr. Kaufman, my name is Dan Garber, and I'm with the FBI, okay? And That's what I want to know. What, what yeah, well, let, let me explain to you what we're doing. We're, we're, we're assisting Atlanta County with the search, okay? And the reason we're doing that is because uh, we have additional resources and bodies that we can we can bring down to help go through stuff, okay? Well, I just was talking about uh, the labs or right. something. There's, something a, there's a, a part, part of what we're looking at is, is uh, uh, allegations of medical fraud, okay? So that's fine. But but here's the, I just had I wanted one or two questions because we want to go through here and keep things orderly and not make a mess. Do you have any safes in the office that we would need to get? There's no, no safes no. at all. No, okay. No. Um, that's fine. So what we'll do, if anything is taken, what will happen is we'll give a very detailed receipt of everything. Okay. Um, if we need to take things generally like a medical file, we'll generally make a copy of it and return it very quickly because they're patient records. We're yeah. very sensitive to those things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you'll have an itemized list of anything that we take from practice. Okay. Is there anything I need to know about other than the one gun in the office or any safety concerns we have? We will have people in the office that are not gun people, so they they come across and they might no, not have just one. Just a one gun. Okay. All right, no, no problem at all, okay? All right, I appreciate it, sir. Thank you very much. All right, sir. Parked in the ocean heights. All right. Just going to have you step into the ambulance here. Uh, they're going to need to talk to you. 503 or 508, uh, whose SUV is in the roadway? They want to try to get that cleared up off of ocean heights. I'm really fine. That's fine. Whosever it is, I guess whenever you guys get a chance, if you can move it, uh, this way we get traffic going again. Right in the side door. Just because we have other people Okay, if I sit here? That's fine. Or I don't want to be in the way. Steve, can you, uh, can you grab Scope, Scope or one of them guys? Yeah. As far as like him Scope going up. to the hospital and everything? Watch your, watch your legs, bud. Okay. Or actually, grab them, grab the group of guys over there. Right here, okay? All right. We have to have you sit here. Hold on one, hold on one second, all right? He's, he's asking why as far as he's going to the hospital. Sir, because you threatened suicide. Oh, call me a break on that, bud. Because you threatened suicide, we have to do what we're ordered to do. You just need to go get evaluated. A doctor will decide, determine that. You know that you're a doctor. We're, um, not, we're not doctors. You want to come with me since you have the camera also? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or do they want, actually, well, what, do you? Lay down like this. I'm, I mean, I'm fine with him unless you want another guy. I can't lay down like this. It's up to you guys. I don't know whatever. Well, you I wasn't sure as far as the cameras, what send, resources uh, you guys need. Two of our guys down there, but they're going to come from okay. my main office. Probably won't be there until uh, 8 30. To the um, to hospital? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I just need a ride back. That's all. Okay. Yeah, follow me. I'll leave this over here. We can have you sit up as much as possible. Like I said, we can pad behind there, park. if that would help. Or if you want something behind your arms, you can. Oh. Here, hold on. Okay. You want more? Hi, right, 11. Is that comfortable, or do you want more blankets? The subject in custody is uh, right, Dr. James Kaufman, right and uh, we're going to be taking him to City Division. Sure. Are we going to City or Shore? City. City, right? Oh, wonderful. In the City Division. I'm sorry, you cut out. Can you repeat that? Ten right Ten four. You good? Mm -hmm. Good city. Yep. Am I good here? Yeah, you're uh, good. <laughs>
Five three to five. Uh, five eight nine or both. I mean, here. Uh, nine four four. Half four, sir. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna stay in with him. Um, We're gonna have uh, my sergeant is gonna follow behind. Okay, so. that's fine. Um, where are you taking him? City. City. Okay. We'll we'll, uh, we'll send the guy over. Yeah, I'm gonna ride. I think Steve's gonna follow behind. Okay. Cause we gotta pick up the equipment, our equipment. Okay. So we'll send the guy over. All right. All right. Sounds good. That's fine. Yes, ma'am. No pain anywhere, though? Five, eleven, What's your date of birth? 41849. 418, what was it again? 49. 49. I'm an old guy. 41849. Yes, sir. You guys still good? I'm good, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Five, you copy. 10 4. 5 0 8. 5 0 8. I'll take all the calls. Five or three is going to be tied up for a few minutes. 